Hey guys, I'm uh, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video today. I have a Toshiba laptop here and I'm going to be showing you how to address the problem if you're getting an error message saying no hard drive or hard drive not installed, hard drive not de detected, and any sort of error like that. Uh, what, what that error means, as you may have guessed, is that your, your base system starts, it loads up, and when it tries to load your operating system, it can't locate um, any, any hard drive to pull from. So it's just stopping and, and, and you're stuck, your computer's useless. Um, so kind of frustrating, I'm gonna show you how to, how to address that in, in this video. Uh, first thing, if you have any questions, if you get lost in, in this video, and if something you're seeing it isn't quite what you're experiencing on your computer, check out the frequently asked questions below in the description. Um, if I see you asking questions over and over again, I do post them there. It could save you some time. If you don't see a question there, leave it as a comment for me down below. I try to get back to you at least a couple times a day. Uh, so if I was in the shop and I had a computer that had built-in diagnostic software, the first thing I would do is run a scan to see if the hard drive is healthy or not. But Toshiba does not have that. Uh, so the next thing I do is I would use my own diagnostic software to test the hard drive, which most likely you don't have. So instead of jumping right to test the hard drive, I'm going to act like I was you, and I'm going to show you what I would do to see what's wrong with your computer while you're getting that error, because it could be software related other than your hard drive. So by process of elimination, we'll figure out what's going on. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is unplug any external devices, USBs, flash drives, external storage devices, unplug everything, uh, try to restart your computer. Uh, sometimes what happens is your computer tries to boot off of those things accidentally and it can't find an operating system on them so it shoots up that error. Uh, so for about five to seven percent of you that'll be your issue. Uh, if that doesn't work I'm going to show you what to do. So we're going to shut down the computer now. So on the Toshiba your BIOS key is usually F12. So hit power Start tapping F12 right away. Tap it over and over again right away when you're loading up. Okay, so this is taking you in into BIOS. So I'll, I'll zoom in here so you can follow what I'm doing. Now keep in mind, uh, I'm gonna get a lot of, of, of questions. My BIOS doesn't look like yours. I know. <laughs> um, not all BIOS is the same depending on the year of your computer. They have different formats. So I'm going to show you what options to search for. You may have to explore around a little bit. The first option we're going to look for is your date and time settings. Um, so trying to find, I, I, I don't see any date and time settings here. And from the look of these options, all this is, is, is a boot priority order here. It's listing various things to boot off of. So let's, th that's all this is. So my only other option here is enter setup. So some of you will have the use of your mouse like I do. Some of you will have to uh, hit tab or, or arrow. So I'm going to get down here to enter setup, which again, you may or may not have to do. Oh, and here it is. System time, system date. So again, you may have to explore around a little bit if it's not jumping right out at you. Uh, but explore around, find system time, system date. Make sure those are accurate. If those are wrong, it could cause all sorts of errors with your base system loading up and it could trigger a no hard drive error even though there's nothing wrong with your hard drive because it, it can't boot up. So make sure those are correct. Again, use your arrow, use your tab key to get over there and change the values if you have to. If that is incorrect and you change it right now, save and exit and try booting your computer again. See if it boots up, see if that was your problem. If it is, great. Um, if it's not, we're going to come back in here, hit F12 again to get back in here, and I'm going to show you another setting in BIOS that you should change. The other setting you should change is between UEFI and Legacy. Sometimes Legacy is listed as CSM, so you want to switch between those two options. So we're going to try to find something that says those in here somewhere. So I don't see it in this main screen, so I'm going to come over here, I'm going to go down to Security Next. I don't see any of those options in security. Power management, nah, I don't expect to see any of them there. They don't have anything to do with that. Advanced, I don't see anything in advanced. My only other option is exit, but I do see another system configuration button here. So let me double click on that. Okay, and there it is, UEFI. So again, you may have to search around a little bit, explore your options. 
Um, and don't worry about accidentally clicking on anything that's gonna mess your computer up. Your computer's already messed up, and there's a setup defaults here. So you hit that button, everything gets reset, and you're fine. So feel free to explore and try to find these options, UEFI, Legacy, or CSM. So I found mine, it's UEFI. So for those of you that have UEFI, you're gonna try to switch over to Legacy or CSM. Again, they're the same thing. Uh, so as you can see here, it's grayed out. I, I can't click on this drop down. I, I can't change it, and that's common. Oftentimes, BIOS wants you to be on UEFI. It, it has safeguards in place to prevent you from going over to Legacy or CSM. So now I need to turn those safeguards off. I'm gonna come back over here to security, click on that, and this says secure boot. It's enabled. I'm going to disable it. Again, what that's doing is preventing me from making that change. So now I'm gonna come back over here to advanced. I'm gonna go back where we just were, system config. And now as you can see, my UEFI dropdown is not grayed out. I can click on it, pull the dropdown, and I can change. So I can change from UEFI to CSM. Again, CSM and legacy are the same. You'll see either or. So then click on that. So that's how you would change from UEFI to legacy or CSM. Uh, if you're currently on legacy or CSM, you'd have to change to UEFI. And that's a lot easier. Um, you should be able to just grab your drop down and change um, or click on your checkbox or whatever options you're seeing. And then after you do that to prevent it from switching back over, go back into security and enable secure boot. So you basically do the reverse of what I did to change. So after you've done those things, save and exit, try booting up your computer again, see if it works. If it worked, again, great. You've changed your settings in BIOS, it wasn't a bad hard drive, you're good. If that doesn't work, we know the issue is not with your base system BIOS. Now we're going to explore your operating system, which is Windows. At this point, go down in the description, uh, find the factory reset video. Try restoring your system or your operating system to factory settings by resetting it. Uh, if that works, then you're good. You've corrected the corruption in your operating system. If that doesn't work and it doesn't go through, perhaps your operating system is too corrupt for that to work. In that case, use the other link down below to install a new version of Windows on your computer. We're gonna install Windows fresh, a new copy. Um, and you can do that free, so it's not gonna charge you anything, uh, but try installing an operating system free. If the operating system will not install, then we've ruled out your base system BIOS, we've ruled out your operating system Windows because we can't install it. Now we're pretty sure it's a bad hard drive if you can't install Windows on it. So there'll be another video link in the description on how to install a hard drive in a Toshiba. Um, and then after installing that hard drive, you'll have to use the other link again to install Windows onto that new hard drive. Uh, but those are all three things it can be. That's your process of elimination to figure it out. Um, if you got lost anywhere, if you're having any problems, again, leave me a message after checking the frequently asked questions. I'll help you out. I'll walk you through whatever you're dealing with. Um, please like and share if this was helpful. And if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer repair, please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, guys.